We've all seen energy prices rising over the years, obviously at the gasoline pumps that hits us in the face every time we turn the corner. Unfortunately, most energy prices, even nuclear, follow the price of oil. Wouldn't it be nice if there were some way to get around all this to find free energy? Well, basically the solution comes up every morning. This is a solar panel, particularly a photovoltaic panel. This is made of crystalline silicon, which is basically beach sand cooked and, and split into wafers. The wafers are then uh, what, we, what we call a semiconductor. That is, they conduct electricity only when they get hot or when light hits them. So the silicon wafer is doped on two different sides so that it makes the electrons jump from, from the negative layer to the positive layer. And this causes electrons to flow through the circuit. Uh, looking at the back of the panel, uh, you can see the, silk, the back contacts back here, which is the negative side of the cell. The wiring connects it all together, makes a circuit. The best way to mount these is facing directly into the sun. In the southern, northern hemisphere where we live, in North Alabama, basically the sun, the uh, best direction to place it is due south. Also, it's best to tilt it to the attitude, altitude of approximately the latitude. We're at about 35 degrees north latitude here, so we want to tilt the panel 35 degrees. This prearranged array came at 30 degrees, which is a typical angle, and it will work most anywhere in North America. Here we have three 15 watt panels, making a total of 45 watts, and this was enough to give me emergency power in my house after the April 27th tornadoes took down our power lines for five days. The solar panels you've already seen, the main part, these generate the electricity. They are wired in through this control box. They're connected uh, in parallel on the block back here that marks the smart solar panel. It has a fused box and there's an output for the battery. So the, the output has ranged quite a bit this morning we've seen everywhere from 14 and a half to currently it's 12.7 volts. But this box smooths out the voltage and puts out a constant 12 volts to charge this battery. The battery can then be used to power this inverter. I use this inverter to run a small refrigerator in my house during the power outage and also to plug in cell phones and other chargers that I might need. You can also, from this control box, you can also get 5 volts in the point of, uh, form of a USB port, or you can get 3, 6, or 9, or 12 volts. The 12 volts is very handy for lighting. I've got this 5-watt, uh, and you can see that it works quite well. And yes, indeed, it is working off of the battery right now, but the battery is being recharged by the solar panels. So this is what we call an off-grid system. If you were to have a grid tied system, which is we recommend whenever you've got a power grid available, this instead of going uh, to this battery, you would go through a meter and through an AC disconnect and into the power lines through your TVA. TVA will pay you $1,000 to start up a system like this and uh, will pay you a premium of 12 cents per kilowatt hour above the retail rate. Currently, that's about 19 cents per kilowatt hour that you can make for uh, that. Now, other uh, the rate down in Alabama Power Company territory, which is the bottom two-thirds of Alabama, is not quite as good as that, but they do allow you to connect. Some of the rural co-ops will not even let you connect at all. So be careful if you're going to put a grid-tied system in that you have permission from your electric company to do that. One of the questions people ask is, how much does this cost? Well, you're looking at about $325 right here. You can generally find the solar kits for about $200. I got mine at Harbor Freight. Uh, it's made by Chicago Electric, and Harbor Freight usually has them on sale for $200 or less if you wait to be patient a little bit. The battery depends on how good of a battery you want. This one was about $100 bucks from Walmart. It is uh, more than 100 amp hour, so it is a very powerful battery. It's something that we needed when we were running, when it was furnishing power for our entire house. Inverters cost anywhere from uh, 25 to 
$75 depending on how big a one you get. This is a typical one that we, you would plug into your car or cigarette lighter and it still works. It'll work 110 volt appliance. Look for more information on our website and please consider joining Alabama Solar Association. We give a lot for the little bit of money that we ask you to donate each year. The web address is www.al-solar.org. Thank you and come visit us on the web.